Hey guys from Gadgets360, this is Hugo from Xiaomi. We're here at Google I.O. in Mountain View, California. It's a pretty sunny day and I'm excited to show you a product that we just announced here, uh, which I've got right here with me. This is the new Mi Box, which uh, we just announced. It's Xiaomi's very first Android TV based product. Uh, it's also our very first product to come to the US market. And I wanna talk to you a little bit about it. First of all, the hardware, uh, is uh, running uh, an M-Logic uh, chipset with a quad ARM A53 CPU and a Mali 450 GPU. Uh, it supports a 4K playback at 60 frames a second and also uh, is ready for HDR support which will come with Android N. Uh, on the memory front, uh, 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM and 8 gigs of onboard flash memory. And also what you see here on the back is that there is a, an USB uh, extension expansion so that you can for example connect a flash drive or a hard drive um, and you can actually get a lot more uh, space so for example you have an entire movie library uh, available and you can play it um, using uh, the Mi Box. Uh, it ships with um, this remote right here this is a Bluetooth voice remote so it's a very simple remote uh, as you can see with a d-pad um, the back key the home key and a voice key this is a voice search key which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Uh, so this is what the package comes with and then uh, we also have uh, an optional Mi Game Controller which is sold separately. Uh, of course this will work with Mi Box but it's also an Android game controller that will work with any compatible Android device. Um, so I'll show you guys a little bit of a demo here. Um, so this is a 4K display. Uh, Mi Box is running right down here. Uh, so right as you power it up this has got a this is your Android TV launcher, the standard Android TV launcher. Um, what you've got up here is search, so you can search. Um, and then uh, on this row here, you've got personalized recommendations uh, from basically all of the apps that you have running on the device. Um, the more content you watch, the better will these recommendations become. And the way it works is you just click on the content and it takes you directly into the content. You don't have to even separately launch the app, which of course makes it really, really fast. Um, I was mentioning earlier about 4K, uh, 60 frames per second. Uh, so we support uh, that resolution. Um, I'm going to show you a video here. Um, for example, uh, this is a beautiful 4K video. Of course, you're not going to see this uh, on the video. You've got to believe me, but the folks who are here can testify to how good this image looks, right? So it's really, really high quality 4K UHD video, and it also supports 60 frames a second. Uh, there's a new trend uh, in video, which is uh, just around the corner, and that's HDR video. Uh, you're probably already very familiar with HDR photography uh, where you take multiple exposures then you overlay them and you get a better quality uh, image with better contrast sometimes even more saturation as well same idea for HDR video so these are much higher quality images which of course have to be shot with special equipment special post-production and it also requires a special uh, decoder on the device which we support uh, and with Android and that'll be available there's many uh, content libraries that are going to be uh, available with HDR coming pretty soon as well. Uh, I'll go back to the home screen here. You can see that the movie actually continues to play in the back. So you can go straight back to it if you want. It's a beautiful UI. Um, uh, the device ships with Google Play with the official YouTube app that you just saw. So all of the Google stuff is here. And of course, a lot of games that are also available. Uh, one of the things that we've been talking about here at Google I.O. all week, uh, it's probably one of the biggest news that our industry has seen in a long time, is the Google Assistant, which is this new uh, you know, functionality, new capability that Google is building over time uh, that helps you with uh, questions, with requests, uh, with a number of things, very, very personalized. Um, and uh, Android TV is uh, an entry point into that capability. Of course, what we have today is voice search, but you can imagine that in the future, this will have the full power of Google Assistant and it'll all come through Android TV updates. You know, I'll mention one quick example here of things you can say. You can ask any questions, by the way, as you would to Google search. Uh, in my case, I'll ask something about entertainment. For example, what's the movie where Jim Carrey gets his memory erased? It's a pretty open-ended question, and it just tells me Eternal Suns of Sunshine of the Spotless Mind gives me a movie card. I can just click on it and start playing right away. Right? So a lot of really, really cool uh, functionality from Google here as well. Uh, so Mi Box is not yet confirmed for India. Uh, we've confirmed it for the US. We're uh, studying the market for India. We're trying to decide whether it will be a product that makes sense there. We would love to hear your feedback. Um, do you think that uh, Mi Box is a good product for India? 
I happen to think it is. I'd love to hear your thoughts. When you boot up the Mi Box, um, obviously you'll get the chance to sign in with your Google account since um, obviously this is running uh, Google's um, version of Android for TVs, which is Android TV. Um, so this product uh, is not a use with Mi account. Most apps can run on Android TV pretty easily. Uh, you basically just need to make a few uh, adjustments uh, to ensure that you can run the app uh, with a D-pad, right? With a, basically a four directional uh, plus center button controller. Uh, otherwise, people will get stuck. You know, if you require a touch screen, then of course you can't really do that because uh, there's no touch uh, sensor here. So you've got to make sure that your app works with D-pad. Um, there's plenty of documentation in the Android developer forums to explain exactly how to do that. Um, but it's possible uh, and there's a lot of apps that have been uh, optimized for TV already. Uh, this is a standard Android TV product, meaning it will work with any Android compatible game controller, uh, whether it's the, the Mi game controller or any other that you get, uh, it should work just fine.